Hello everyone, welcome to your weekend mystic affirmations. This is the energy for Friday through Sunday, December 20th through 22nd. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday's energy combined in the weekend reading. Many blessings to you all. Thank you for being part of this beautiful reading. We're using tarot and the law of, a of attraction here to bring in the affirmations and help us to manifest our best possible lives. So with that in mind, if you'd like to see any of my other readings, click on my icon down here in the left corner. Uh, right underneath the video, you'll see my blue eyeball icon. And it'll take you to my homepage and you can peruse my playlists or my recent uploads and find what you need there. Many blessings to you and thank you so much. We'll continue now with our reading. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. Well, there you go. We thank you so much. How many is that, too? We thank you so much for your divine guidance, as always, and we welcome your energy here, Divine. We appreciate your presence and your information. Thank you so much. So it fell this way. I take the top one. And our underlier is the Five of Swords. So in this particular deck, this is this is always you always hear me say that at the beginning of, of turning one of these cards over this is why it is not a conventional tarot deck it is a more modern um, interpretation of the tarot deck now you see how you've got the one sword and the four swords aimed at it um, in conventional tarot, it's got a, a man battling on the battlefield and he's got his one sword in the air and everyone else has been conquered well, this looks like the opposite, right? So more than, than anything, the energy is about not claiming the victory too soon because it is only, the, you know, you, want, you might win this battle, but you haven't won the war. Um, also, it can be battle-weary because you're constantly facing adversity. It doesn't mean that you're losing. It just means you can be weary of the conflict. Um, and that is that is a very true statement here, and that's what I feel like this card's message truly is for for today. So let's see what the rest of our affirmation decks have to say. This is the Law of Attraction affirmation deck. Intuition. My intuition guides me to people, places, and jobs that I enjoy. Well, I can't tell you that that's not true for me because it totally is. Um, it, it was a very, uh, I took a very odd route to get here, but uh, here I am. And it's possible. If it's possible for me, it's possible for anyone. That's the thing we have to remember, too, that the universe has a sense of humor. And sometimes it has a loose definition. It will make something ironic uh, that happens to be true and it, it you'll see the sense of humor after the fact but at the time it doesn't seem so funny does it so abundance we love this card hello we'll take some of that this is uh beyond 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 uh abundant this is so you can see in this card i i'm trying to get it so you can see this beautiful star burst and then you see like orbs t trickling down into her. And then as it hits her, it turns into money falling, like money from just overflowing out of this bowl. And you can see also, if you can see it well enough, there's a little sparkles of all the abundance raining down. So it is being poured into her, into the angel to be given. So we love the abundance. We receive that. And let's see what our sacred geometry affirmation deck has to say it's always full of energy and wisdom and i appreciate you guys 
being on this learning path with me. So transition, which is the learning path, quite literally, it looks like a little winding path. And we are always in the frequency of transition. It supports our deep understanding of the, of the ever-changing nature of existence and our lives so that we can learn to let go, surrender to the process, and allow transition to occur with ease and grace. So part of understanding that there's, it's, things are never in a, in a finite state, right? Everything is, is moving and changing, even down to a molecular level, right? Um, if the, the, the theory of all matter being kind of transparent and not solid, okay? Not even transparent, but actually individual. Like, it appears to be solid because we believe it's solid. And this is, the, this is just the theories, okay? It appears to be solid because we believe it to be solid. But we also know that everything, even though it's solid, may change in time, right? Um, things look different as they get older. Or, or as you, know, you leave something out in the sun, uh, it'll be faded after a short time because the sun will actually bleach it out. So there's just all of these different evidences that are showing up on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, look at the Grand Canyon. That was from a, a river <laughs> that carved through the earth's crust, through rock. So I'm just saying, it is the nature of our lives, of, of existence, is change. So once we master moving with change, we, we then give over to allowing the universe to take us on the path that we were meant to go on, rather than resisting. So um, it is a really important thing to learn how to surrender. It's hard, yeah, and I know it is, because I, you, we have to do it over and over again. That's another thing. We may surrender today, but tomorrow we resist. <laughs> so this is why we do these readings. Loving others is easy when I love and accept myself. My heart is open. I allow my love to flow freely. I love myself. I love others and others love me. That's a very great energy. So self, self-awareness and self-love are very important because... When you are in a place of respecting and loving yourself, then no one can really hurt you either. Okay. The point of power is always in the present moment. The past is over and done and has no power over me. I can begin to be free in this moment. Today's thoughts create my future. I am in charge, and I now take my own power back. I am safe, and I am free. The point of power is always the present moment. The past is over and done and has no power over me. I can begin to be free in this moment. Today's thoughts create my future, and I am in charge. I now take my own power back. I am safe, and I am free. Well, that's perfect transition statement, is to get up every day knowing that you begin right where you are. And, you know, every five minutes that can be true. You begin again, you begin again, you begin again. That is the way it works. And sometimes we need every five minutes to just to, to make it to the next. And that's why we're here doing affirmations because uh, nobody is beyond doubt and nobody is beyond fear. We can stave it off, but sometimes it reoccurs. It's an old habit that dies hard, right? Wow, there's a good way to, to kill it off. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> That'll sure cure some fear, won't it? <laughs> The Ten of Pentacles is in a very, it fits right in with the abundance, okay? So Ten of Pentacles is the highest money card in the deck, and it does mean uh, having a huge payoff or payout. It can also mean having a job that is uh, worth a lifetime of money, and it can mean the, the reward for all this, all this work you've done.
the five of swords energy where it, it feels like you're battle weary. We have the princess of cups. This is the page of cups in the standard tarot. And it is the offer of the universe saying, I will always provide for you uh, as you will receive it. Now that's the, that's the caveat. Whenever the universe offers something, it's not always in the way we think it's going to be. And it may not appear to be a gift. It may not appear to be a gift from divine. And sometimes we think it's just something else that we don't need because it looks ordinary. So please remember that when something is being offered, we have to learn to receive it because you never know when it's going to be that amazing Holy Grail moment, right? So this money could show up in, a, in a, an old, ugly, rusty bucket. And if you first blush, look at that bucket, you think, I don't want that piece of trash, but it's full of gold. You just don't know it yet. So, so let's understand that it doesn't always show up in pretty paper, right? And the hermit. So the hermit is understanding that everything is emanating from within you. Your light is what illuminates everything else. So... We have to be in a place of introspection to self-regulate the image we project out onto the universe, right? It's like if you think of it as a movie screen, the thing that's being broadcast is our energy. So let's always be mindful. That's the thing we have to constantly be mindful of is, are we receiving and projecting our abundance? Are we using the energy in a way of constant... Um, vibration of receiving and being in a place of joy and happiness or are we in a lack-minded place in a fear-minded place in a tired place that's the that's the real thing is even when we're in those places we have to project the thing we want not the thing we're getting especially if it's something we don't want right so the abundance you receive your abundance it shows up you accept it and then you get more of it because you, that's the image you've just sent out is I've just received this and you claim it because it's there and it's in your hand and it's real. And the more that you do it, the more you get in the real, in the natural. So this is the real power of the law of attraction is believing it, believing it and then receiving it and then manifesting more of it. So once you make it happen once, it's a very easy to re repeat the cycle. Of, of having it happen more and more but if you if you keep yourself in a place of lack or fear or you know just flat worn out then you don't give yourself the power right you claim your power I now take my power back I am safe and I am free so these are the thoughts we're having today and these are the thoughts that are going to start from right here is we take our power back and we bring ourselves to a place of abundance and intuition and transition into more abundance. So receive, receive, receive your abundance. Many blessings to you all. Have a fabulous weekend. Thank you so much for being part of this beautiful reading. Namaste.